everybody, you'll be here at the Museum of Ice Cream. Well, we are here in front of their truck. We are at Brand Innovators 2023 at South by Southwest. And I'm here talking to Erin Lesbo. And we met about, what, about six or seven years ago. Uh, maybe I, longer. Maybe longer. And, you know, we, we followed each other on social media. We've talked a bunch. But what really drew my attention today, other than you kindly commenting on my post when I said I was coming here, was a comment that Erin that, that, that just made when she was on stage with a women in leadership, a marketing leadership panel. And she said, as a marketer, everything you're doing should be leading to dollars to the bottom line. Yeah. And you know, so many marketers forget about that. Now that doesn't mean that everything you do, you can click a button and it makes a sale. It just means there needs to be an end result like that. And I just really, beyond everything else we're gonna talk about here real quickly, about relationships, about you know things that we talk about together, I'd love to hear you just reiterate what you talked about when it came to that. Well, this oh, idea oh. that brand performance marketing and direct result marketing are separate is bullshit, right? Like, this idea that someone puts out a commercial but it's not going to drive revenue is wrong. Everything you do should be leading to revenue. So all brand awareness is truly revenue driving at the end of the day. It just depends on how big the net is cast, right? How many people you're talking about. And so then it becomes about scale and it becomes about deliverability. So brand awareness and direct results should be hand in hand. And if you find a marketer who goes, well, I'm a brand awareness marketer, you probably don't know what you're doing. Like, you should be driving the results. And here's the problem, is that sometimes in so many organizations, they're separate groups. They, they don't even communicate with each other. I mean, and, and you get this a lot with shopper marketing and regular marketing as well. Why aren't those groups engaging and working together? Why are there silos? I mean, yeah, we still have the issues where like, we're break, exactly what you said, breaking down the silos, right? Like, it's happened for years and we're making progress, but it's not as fast as we need it to be to the point where we go, we should all be one, right? And it takes a special type of thought process. And my boss told me when I interviewed, she goes, why do you love marketing? And I said, because what I do drives the bottom line. And she said, I love you. I love you. <laughs> no, and I, I love that you brought up brand awareness because when people hear the term, everything you do in marketing should lead to dollars to the bottom yeah. line, they go, oh, well, that's why brand awareness doesn't make sense because there's, it, it doesn't lead you to, to. to a sale. But, but you if you don't know, up. thank you. But the things have to go together, and that's where it comes together. Correct. So talk to me real quick about what you said to me earlier about, you know, you, you heard me speak a while back, oh. and you mentioned something because, you know, it's so near and dear to my heart. I am not trying to promote myself here, but, you know, as you all of us... let me promote you. <laughs> exactly. But as all of us know, when you hear someone that you spoke in front of, either repeat back or say, I used something that you talked about. <laughs> that's really what hits home for us. So please, share and make me feel good. Oh, my God. It's been... Six or seven years ago, you were on stage emceeing an event, and you said, let's just be kind. Respond to emails. Respond to people. Stop ghosting people, marketers. And I thought about it, and I, like, I took it to heart, and I thought about it because like I get 700 emails a day, and people are like, you don't respond. Well, now I do. And it is. I will be kind. I will be direct with you. I'll tell you if I want to work with you and or not want to work with you. Right. And why that is but I'll be kind about it. Like if you're an asshole, like I can't do anything about it. But what you said really resonated with me and stayed with me and to this day, like I tell people, I'm like, always respond. And it makes a difference. Oh. You know, my friend Steve Harper talks about uh, ri um, let's ripple. And what he's talking about is a ripple effect is that everything we do has an effect. And I love what you said, because by the way, it's exactly what I said is, let somebody know this doesn't work for me or this isn't the right timing for us because otherwise that salesperson is just going to keep banging you over the head and you're not going to be answering and it's about being good to people but it's also about your brand and and what people think about you and what people say about you and then just being right for others and here's a classic story i tell how many of you guys and i know you've had this we all get this right you reach out to someone for a favor and they when you met them they said anything you need just give me a call and you reach out to them and all you want to do is connect them to a friend's kid who's looking to understand something about a career they're involved with. Yeah. You're not even really asking them for something and they ghost you. They don't answer you. And then you email them again about something else. And then six months later, all of they a sudden, you. yes, and you get an outreach and it says, hey, Ted, you know, uh, listen, I'm really sorry. I know I didn't respond to you back when, but you know, I have a very important job and I'm very busy. But now I'm unemployed. But <laughs> and now I need a job. So now I'm reaching out to you. Right, and can I? People. <laughs> Can I pick your brain and reach into your network and know everybody you yeah. know because I need something I now? Think it's horrible. Like what I do believe is like good people find good people, right? right? There's a reason that you and I connect. There's a reason that I connect with a lot of people here. 
good people find good people, you lift people up by putting good into the world and the other people fall away. And so I used to let those people really affect me when they did that. Like, oh, it hurt my heart. Like I was like, why did, like all of a sudden you care? And it made me feel like this anger. And now you just let it go and you go, good people find good people. Do for others without expectation of anything directly in return and it will come back to you. Your brand is what you do. Your reputation is what people remember and share. Erin.